According to new data, Ripple's XRP coin may not be categorized as a security, according to recently discovered confidential SEC correspondence. XRP's price, by the way, is still in the green despite Binance inflows. Also, what effect will Warren Jensen, Amazon's former CFO, joining the Ripple board of directors, as well as the company's audit committee and chairperson, have on the company and the XRP coin? Finally, can the SEC still win the lawsuit now that Hinman's records have been revealed? Continue reading to the end to find out more. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we discuss the most recent XRP and cryptocurrency news in general. If you are watching one of our videos for the first time, we would gladly offer you a special greeting. We encourage you to enable notifications so you never miss any video. We are pleased to announce that this channel is hosting a 200 XRP giveaway. To have a chance of all you have to do to participate is subscribe to the channel and like this video. Please use the hashtag XRP in your comment and the winner will be notified on May 31st. Evidence from internal SEC emails in the XRP versus SEC lawsuit suggests that there are reasonable grounds to believe that XRP, the contentious cryptocurrency associated with blockchain company Ripple, does not meet all elements of the Howey test and thus may not be classified as a security. John Deaton discovered the information. A well-known legal pundit who identified references to SEC emails in Ripple's opposition and reply briefs Deaton was perplexed as to why Ripple's legal staff did not place more emphasis on the potential implications of these communications. The emails, which are listed as Exhibit 220, purport to indicate that there are reasonable grounds to believe that XRP does not satisfy all Howey elements, which are used to decide whether particular transactions qualify as investment contracts. Deaton was taken aback by this information, who stated that despite having read thousands of pages of legal documents relating to the case, he had originally missed the detail in the footnotes. The crucial aspect appears to have been overlooked due to the positioning of the email citation in connection to a phrase referencing analyses sent to the SEC by independent market participants. The research determined that XRP was not a security, deflecting attention away from the subsequent email citation. Deathan also raised an intriguing question, namely, why Ripple's lawyers did not make a bigger deal out of this information if it came from a senior SEC staff member. He hypothesized that the comment could be a reference to another person's study of XRP in emails with him in, a former SEC official, rather than a direct statement from an SEC official. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and click that notice. To be the first to learn about the latest XRP developments, subscribe to our newsletter. According to cryptocurrency data tracker Whale Alert, a big movement of XRP to cryptocurrency market Binance has been discovered. In recent hours, crypto data tracker Whale Alert observed a large amount of XRP being transferred to the Binance crypto exchange. According to Whale Alert, 87 million XRP worth $41 million was transferred from an unknown wallet to Binance. There are three plausible explanations for why wallets sent assets outside of exchanges. There are fees associated with transferring coinage. If there is a surge of purchasers at the spot exchange, it is likely that investors are sending their coins there to be sold. A price drop is a common result of this type of conduct which is a bad sign. The second cause is trading on the risky futures market. Last but not least, investors transfer their holdings to exchanges on a regular basis for staking, airdropping, or simple reshuffling. It is difficult to make many inferences about price or volatility in this case. This excuse for the behavior is typically dismissed. XRP is currently reversing intraday gains but stays in the green. XRP went up marginally, 1% in the last 24 hours to $0.46. However, the cryptocurrency is up 10% in the last seven days. John Deaton, the founder of Crypto Law and an attorney for XRP holders, discloses an intriguing discovery that may indicate that XRP was viewed as a non-security in SEC correspondence. I can't wait for these emails to be released, Deaton says. Even non-XRP holders, including Ripple opponents, will have to admit that what the SEC did was completely wrong. Mark my words, 
the investigation into the motivation behind this lawsuit will ramp up. XRP gained 10% this week after Judge Tories refused the SEC's attempt to seal records pertaining to former SEC staffer William Hinman. As previously reported, following Ripple's huge achievements in the week following Judge Tories' order, some in the XRP community believe a storm is on the horizon. Furthermore, Ripple continues to make significant investments. Ripple continues to expand strategically through acquisitions, the development of new products, and the increase of its employees. Growth occurs through expansions, the introduction of new products, and the increase of its staff. Warren Jensen, a recognized financial expert who previously served as Amazon's CFO, has recently joined the Silicon Valley company's workforce. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse stated his excitement to welcome Jensen in a recent tweet. Traits that will propel cryptocurrency ahead, and Warren's decades of experience will help. Jensen will join the firm's board of directors, according to the official release. Furthermore, the competent of financial specialist will serve as chairperson of Ripple's audit committee. According to the press release, the move marks Ripple's endeavor to keep up with the quickly evolving crypto market. Jensen offers a wealth of experience to the Ripple team as a seasoned financial specialist who has worked on the front lines of several renowned firms. Jensen was previously the chief financial officer, CFO, of several major corporations, including NBC News, 1992-1998, Amazon, 1999-2002, and Electronic Arts, 2002-2008. Jensen is not the only ex-Amazon employee to join Ripple. As previously reported, Devraj Varantin, Amazon's former vice president of delivery experience, was hired by Ripple in December 2020 as the company's senior vice president of engineering, a position Varantin still holds today. Jensen's latest addition to the team comes just a few months after Ripple named long-term employee Monica Long president. Last year, the firm also welcomed Michael Warren, a former White House senior advisor, to its board of directors. Ripple is still looking to grow its team, as indicated by the numerous job postings on its employment page. Ripple has continued to make significant strides toward extending its business, in addition to its predilection for growing its personnel. CEO Garlinghouse recently revealed that the firm has more than $1 billion to invest in the custody and tokenization space, as well as other industries. To that purpose, Ripple recently paid $250 million for Medaco, a Swiss-based digital asset and custody tokenization startup. Despite the challenging crypto winter and the continuing SEC case, these expansion plans have succeeded. Ripple appears to be concerned about the winter's detrimental impacts at a time when other crypto-focused companies, like as Coinbase, are laying off personnel. Now for today's major question. Can the SEC still win the lawsuit after the release of Hinman's documents? Can the SEC still win the lawsuit now that Hinman's records have been revealed? Please remember to subscribe to our channel and click that notice. To be the first to learn about the latest XRP developments, subscribe to our newsletter. According to Matt Hamilton, Ripple's former Director of Developer Relations, the latest revelation of internal SEC emails raises worries about the case against Ripple. The situation looks pretty bad for the regulator, according to Hamilton. However, he cautioned that the conclusion might not be as expected due to the complexities of the U.S. regulatory and judicial systems. Hamilton noted that, while Ripple may be in the right, the SEC might still win the litigation. Recent court filings put doubt on whether XRP meets all of the criteria for classification as a security. According to the reasoning, the cryptocurrency does not meet all of the criteria. The Howey test outlines this. Nonetheless, XRP holder's attorney John Deaton speculates that the comment in the released emails could be a reference to another individual's analysis rather than a direct declaration from an SEC official. The discovery of these communications has serious ramifications for Ripple and its legal battle with the SEC. If XRP is not deemed a security, it could have far-reaching implications for the entire sector. However, because to the complexities of the legal system governing digital currencies, the eventual outcome of the action remains uncertain.
As the case progresses, industry participants and digital asset enthusiasts eagerly await more developments. The ultimate classification of XRP will likely define the future of the sector and may have an impact on the regulatory frameworks around digital assets. So, gentlemen, we've reached the end of this video. If you liked it, please spread the word. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and click the notify button. This is quite beneficial to my understanding of the YouTube algorithm. You can also aid to enlighten others exactly like. Sharing this video with as many people as possible has enlightened you. Guys, let's spread this news everywhere. If you are a true cryptocurrency enthusiast, you should not miss any of our stuff. See you tomorrow to discuss the most recent news that affects us all as a community.